The story of the LED begins in the quiet laboratories of the early 20th century. In 1907, British experimenter H.J. Round, working at Marconi Labs, stumbled upon a curious phenomenon. He observed that certain crystals emitted light when an electrical current passed through them. This discovery, known as electroluminescence, marked the first flicker of the LED's potential. Round's findings published in a brief note in the journal Electrical World hinted at a future where solid-state devices could replace bulky and inefficient incandescent bulbs. Across Europe a young Russian scientist named Oleg Losev independently observed the same phenomenon. Working with silicon carbide crystals, Losev delved deeper into the mechanics of electroluminescence. He published his findings in Russian, German and British scientific journals, meticulously detailing his experiments and observations. Losev's work, though groundbreaking, remained largely unknown in the West due to language barriers and the tumultuous political climate of the time. Despite the early discoveries of Round and Losev, practical applications for electroluminescence remained elusive for decades. The emitted light was too dim, the materials too expensive, and the underlying science not fully understood. The world, it seemed, was not quite ready for the LED revolution. However, the seeds of innovation had been sown, and in the fertile ground of mid-20th century technological advancement, they would soon begin to sprout. The 1950s saw a surge in solid-state electronics research, driven by the invention of the transistor. Scientists and engineers, armed with a deeper understanding of semiconductors, turned their attention back to the promise of electroluminescence. In 1961 at a General Electric laboratory in Syracuse, New York, a young engineer named Nick Holonyak Jr. achieved a breakthrough. Building on the work of his predecessors, Holonyak created the first practical visible spectrum LED. Holonyak's LED, fabricated from gallium arsenide phosphide, emitted a distinct red light. While not particularly bright, it marked a pivotal moment in the history of lighting technology. For the first time scientists had demonstrated that semiconductor devices could produce light visible to the human eye. This breakthrough, announced to the world in the December 1962 issue of Applied Physics Letters, ignited a firestorm of research and development. The potential applications of Holonyak's invention were immediately apparent. LEDs, with their low power consumption, long lifespan, and compact size, promised to revolutionize everything from indicator lights and digital displays to traffic signals and televisions. The race was on to improve the efficiency, brightness, and color range of these revolutionary light sources. The decades following Holonyak's breakthrough witnessed remarkable progress in LED technology. Scientists experimented with different semiconductor materials, refining fabrication techniques, and optimizing device architectures. The result was a steady increase in the efficiency and brightness of LEDs, paving the way for their adoption in a growing range of applications. Early LEDs found their first commercial successes as indicator lights and in digital displays. Their small size, low power consumption, and long lifespan made them ideal for use in electronics, replacing bulky and fragile incandescent bulbs. The ubiquitous red seven-segment displays that became synonymous with digital clocks, calculators, and early computers owed their existence to this new breed of light emitters. As the technology matured, new colors emerged. Green LEDs, initially dimmer and less efficient than their red counterparts, joined the ranks, followed by yellow and orange variants. However, a significant hurdle remained, the elusive blue LED. Blue light, with its shorter wavelength, proved challenging to generate efficiently. Without it, creating white light by combining different LED colors remained a distant dream. The quest for the blue LED would become a holy grail for researchers, with profound implications for the future of lighting technology. Whoever unlocked its secrets would usher in a new era of energy efficiency and reshape the world as we knew it. The invention of the blue LED in the early 1990s was a groundbreaking achievement. It enabled the creation of white LEDs by combining blue LEDs with red and green phosphors. This innovation revolutionized lighting technology, making LEDs a versatile and energy-efficient light source for various applications. The journey to create the blue LED was fraught with challenges. Researchers faced numerous technical obstacles requiring them to push the boundaries of material science and semiconductor physics. However, the relentless pursuit of this elusive goal paid off when a team of scientists, led by Dr. Shuji Nakamura, finally succeeded. Their breakthrough not only completed the visible spectrum for LEDs but also opened the door to a new era of lighting. The impact of this invention was immediate and far-reaching. 
white LEDs created by combining blue LEDs with red and green phosphors, began to replace traditional lighting in homes, offices, and public spaces. Their energy efficiency, long lifespan, and low heat emission made them the preferred choice over incandescent and fluorescent lights. Beyond general lighting, blue LEDs also found applications in various other fields. They became integral to high-definition displays, medical devices, and even data communication technologies. The versatility of LEDs, now complete with the blue variant, reshaped industries and transformed everyday life. The invention of the blue LED stands as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. It serves as a reminder that even the most daunting challenges can be overcome with dedication and innovation. Today, LEDs light up our world in ways once thought impossible, all thanks to the brilliant minds who dared to dream and make the blue LED a reality.